If you've paid attention to the world of tech, you've undoubtedly heard the terms coding and programming dozens of times. While it may seem like meaningless gibberish and colorful text, there's actually tons of use cases for it. Coding refers to the use of text language to tell computers what to do. Primarily, coders write detailed instruction manuals for machines to read. In this video, we're going to explain how coding works and what it's used for. But to get a better understanding of what coding is and what it's used for, you'll need a bit of background on how computers work. So let's begin. Contrary to what you might believe, computers essentially work the same way they did 30 years ago. Remember those big computers that took up a whole room? Yeah, those. The biggest difference is the massive increase in processing power, storage, and component technologies that occurred during that time. Computers are electronic machines made with transistors. Transistors aren't complicated at all. They're just simple on and off switches. When you combine tens of thousands of these on and off switches, you get a computer. It's a little more complicated than that, but for the sake of explanation, it's all you need to know. Binary code, the ones and zeros you see in movies, instruct these switches whether to turn on or turn off. Each transistor receives a one or a zero, and with thousands working at the same time, you can do some computing. Unfortunately, attempting to make an entire computer work by manually typing a number for each transistor would take an incredible amount of time. Instead, we develop coding languages to help us speed up the process. Instead of addressing an individual transistors with code, we address entire sections of them to perform a specific task. Now that we've dramatically oversimplified a major concept, it's time to answer the question. So what are coding languages and what are they used for? Coding languages are simply a set of rules defining how code should be written. Most coding languages are relatively simple, but they do vastly different things. For example, a language like JavaScript is used primarily for online web development, whereas Python works for both complete software programs and websites. The language a developer chooses is usually up to their discretion, as many coding languages can accomplish the same purpose. We use programming languages to create software programs. A program is just a text file that serves as an instruction manual for a computer. When you launch an application, you're telling the computer to read the text file and execute the commands inside. Depending on the processing power of that computer, a system can scan an enormous amount of instructions and follow them amazingly fast. A human couldn't possibly read through thousands of pages of instructions and decide which steps to take as quick as a computer, which is why these machines are so useful. So, what is coding used for? These days, coding is used for pretty much everything. For example, cars rely heavily on coding to run vital systems and improve efficiency. Coding is in almost every aspect of modern life. Every application on a phone, tablet, or a computer uses code to run. Other digital systems like smart TVs and calculators use code as well. Virtually every new car uses code to control everything from air conditioning systems to fuel injectors, and cities even employ computers to operate traffic signals. Processes that used to be analog are now streamlined using computerized systems, allowing engineers to build a more efficient and less expensive process. But why is code so prevalent, and does it really have that big of an impact on day-to-day -day life? The answer is yes, it has a huge impact on everyday life. That's because coding and computers are used in virtually every modern industry all over the world, and they'll continue to become more common in every major sector. Computers will continue to replace outdated technology in everything from microwaves to power plants, and the presence of code in our daily lives will only increase. Now, it's pretty clear how big of an impact technology will have on our lives now and in the future. And with all this new coding infrastructure comes the need for qualified people to make it work. So why not give it a try and see if you're one of those people. If you want to learn more about coding, the tech industry, or how you can become a programmer yourself, visit our website careerkarma.com or check out my other video on how to become a software engineer or the easiest programming languages to learn. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button, comment, and subscribe, and let's break in.